Anybody who full times in an RV knows without a doubt that things can change pretty rapidly. We had some problems with our water tank and we needed to get it addressed. We called up a couple of RV dealerships and they were not very nice. They're like, come back in 2018 in three months and we'll get it fixed for you. So since we were in the Utah area, we decided just to stick around since we were planning on being here for the Thanksgiving holiday anyway. And so here we are, we're inside of a shop. At least it'll keep us a little bit warmer. It's forecasted to snow this week. The biggest challenge we had was trying to get the trailer inside of the shop. Now it's maybe a 32 foot shop or so and we've got from the ball to the ladder maybe 34 feet so we had to shave off some some distance quite drastically so talk about some precision backing up it took a you know we never had to unhitch or anything crazy like that but uh, we did have to take two runs at it the first run wasn't quite successful but the second run made it in let me show you the slide side here now we are, here we are on the slide side of the unit uh tight fit again as you can see here Yes, we did have to move some of the woodworking tools that were in here in order to get everything to fit. We have to crawl underneath if we want to get to the, uh, the back side. <sighs> to uh, come up with a kind of a temporary solution here to help vent vent the uh, I guess the ammonia smell coming out of the black tank One of the things that we've purchased in preparation for the cold weather that we knew we were going to be in is a new indoor space heater. Now I realize that indoor space heaters are controversial, especially in an RV due to the fire hazard, but we've been pretty happy with our unit so far, and so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. We've got the, uh, the Vornado VMH300 here. It uh, came in a nice packaged box. You know, pretty modern colors and those kind of things. Definitely channeling the uh, Apple vibe with this designed in Andover, Kansas. And the unit itself is a pretty nice uh, set of industrial design here. It's an all metal frame and a very compact cube here. The only place you really feel heat is on this front grill. And if you put your hand on the back grill, it's actually cool to the touch because that's where it's drawing in the, the cool air. It's got two settings here, a low and a high. Uh, the low runs at 750 watts and the high runs at 1500 watts. It's got a nice analog thermostat here. You just turn it up when, uh, if you want it to be warmer and turn it down if you want it to be cooler. And uh, an LED light here letting you know when it's plugged in. Some of the safety features that I'm happy with has been the, or that it has, I haven't had a chance to use them yet, is it's got an internal heat protection system so that if it overheats it will turn off. It also has a tip protection system as, you, as it tips over the unit will stop uh, stop running so on the back side it's just got the inlet vent and then a little area to stuff your cord if you're if you're carrying it so it's, it's a pretty compact unit I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it we've actually just left it uh, on the floor here so that it draws the cold air in through the floor and then kind of expels it out the front and uh, we've been running it on low and on a pretty low thermostat setting and it's kept our unit extremely warm. We've got the, my battery monitoring system here. We're running currently at about eight amps with uh, all of the lights on in the unit. 
and uh, I am not plugged in at the moment. So this is this is what our, our unit is using right now. So let me activate the heater and we'll see what it jumps up to. And here we are with the unit running on low. So we jumped up from eight amps to approximately 68 amps. So we're running at about 60, uh, 60 amps total with the unit running on low. So let's try it out on high. And here we are on high, it runs at about 125 amps. Definitely one of those systems that you wanna use only when you're plugged in, which is uh, what we're currently doing at the moment, so. Bit of a truncated video with all the running around and taking care of things, but that's life. You gotta take the good with the bad. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the road. Maybe not literally on the road since we're going to kind of keep a low-key uh, vibe here over the next few weeks, but uh, you know what I meant. Catch you later.